Today, I'm gonna show you how I use social media analytics every day to make better decisions for the social accounts I manage here at Hootsuite. And I'm gonna answer my own top three questions that I ask myself every single day and walk you through which metrics I look at to answer those questions. And each answer gives me some direction for my social media strategy and helps me decide what to do more of and what to do less of. If you're looking for a walkthrough of the native analytics in one platform or another, this is not the video for you. You're gonna wanna watch our Instagram or TikToks analytics videos, which I'll link in the description. And if you want us to make a video on a whole other platform, tell us in the comments. Okay, people, let's dive in. Question one. Why didn't I go to sleep earlier last night? I mean, how are my posts performing today? The first thing I wanna know when I log in in the morning is, is anything on fire and how are yesterday's posts doing? This is easily something you can do just by opening your Instagram or Twitter app and checking out your native insights or even eyeballing your feed to see if you've had any spikes or dips since you last checked, which in my case would be last night at about 11.30 p.m. when I was supposed to be asleep. But because my team runs content strategies for six different social media platforms, I want to see it all in one tidy chart before I dig deeper. So my first stop is Hootsuite's post performance report. Psst, if you want to follow along, click here for your free 60 day Hootsuite trial. First, I go to analytics and on the sidebar here, I clicked post performance. And now I can pick whichever account I want and arrange my post by metrics. So for this question, I care about my most recent posts. So I'll arrange by date with the most recent at the top here. And then I can go over and click the edit button and decide which metrics I actually want to see. So right now I care about overall engagement rate and reach the most. So what is reach? You might be wondering. Reach is the number of people who actually saw a post. And a high reach could mean you posted at the right time and that the platform's algorithm showed it to a lot of people. Meanwhile, engagement rate measures how many people actively interacted with your post compared to the number of people who saw it and didn't actually pause to engage with it at all. It's a combination of likes, shares, saves, and comments usually, but there's a lot of different ways to calculate it. So a high engagement rate almost always means you've hit a nerve with your audience and posted something that they like. Plus, a high engagement rate is a signal to the algorithm that your content is top quality content. So that leads to a higher reach. It's a virtuous cycle. So if you want to calculate your own engagement rate for free, we have a free calculator on our blog. I'll put a link in the description. Don't worry, I got you covered. But wait, you might be asking yourself, what is a good engagement rate? Yeah, I ask myself that every day. But the good news is, keep watching because I will get to that shortly. Plug, tease. But before we move on, one other thing I wanna say about this report is that with Instagram, for instance, I can actually filter by post type. So I'm not comparing reels to stories or apples to oranges, and I can quickly pass through each of my accounts and see what's up. Like, okay, this reel is pulling double our usual engagement rate. That's awesome. And that makes me think, I'm gonna wanna put some ad budget behind it today. And if you wanna see how I do that, we have a video on boosting reels right here. Okay, the second question I ask myself every day, are my cats mad at me? <laughs> I mean, how are my posts performing compared to last week? Yeah, that's what I meant. Or last month or last year. Social media is such a growth oriented channel that I find it's really helpful to compare results over time. So for instance, this week to last week, this February compared to last February, 2023 to 2022, I like to use a report in Hootsuite called Multiple Networks Overview just to see what's up. I just pick the accounts that I want it to show and the dates that I want. And you see my most recent week is in blue and the week previous is in lavender. And the thing I like about this report is that it lets me look at all my results from all my social media platforms in one place. And I'll just show you my top three metrics that I look at. So metric number one here is follower growth rate. Okay, <laughs> don't look at that, but you get the idea. And if you wanna calculate your own growth rate, here's how. Just say last week Friday at midnight, you had 960 followers. And this week on Friday at midnight, you have 1,000, yay, congratulations. So subtract last week's total from this week's and divide the result by last week's total. Then multiply by 100 to get your percentage.
percentage. Metric number two, page and profile reach. This is the total number of people who have come to look at your Instagram profile, Twitter profile, Facebook page, and LinkedIn page this week. And we're actually up over the last week, which is great. Profile visits are an indicator that you're reaching new people or intriguing your current audience with your content. So it's a good measure of how successful your posts are at drawing in your audience. Metric number three, I also care about this overall engagement rate for all of our content on all of our platforms. So again, our engagement rate is down from last week, but that's because last week we had a meme post blow up. Brag alert, polish his nail, hair flip, dirt off my shoulder. <laughs> And then if you keep scrolling, you can see all your likes, comments, shares, and click-throughs graphed out each day. And you can hover and see each platform in the same chart. Honestly, I cannot imagine how long it would take to do this by hand, pulling daily numbers from native networks and compiling them into one spreadsheet. Oh God, I hate spreadsheets. But if you're down to clown, I have a link in the description below to our free social media report template so that at least you aren't starting with a blank slate. And then if I scroll down even more, we get into each individual platform. Again, I'm just doing my daily scan in this video, but if you want to go deeper into learning how to make a weekly or monthly social media report to share with your client or boss or your boss's boss, then you'll want to watch our video on social media reports, which is coming out next week. Another tease. So, you know, hit that notification bell or go find it. It's somewhere on our channel and maybe YouTube will magically service it next. Fingers crossed. I have faith in the algorithm. Question three, am I hungry or bored? I mean, how am I doing compared to my competitors? Yeah, as a social media manager, I have many enemies and they're mostly brands that are doing something that I think is good. I especially hate it when other brands are funnier than me. So what can I do? Besides rewatching my old TikToks to make sure I'm still hilarious, competitive benchmarking. Boom. This is where you can find out if your engagement rate is good or at least if it's better than someone else's. So under benchmarking in the analytics tab, you can click industry and actually select your industry and try to see how each of your accounts is doing metric by metric when measured against the industry average. And if you want to get a little bit more personal with your competitive streak, you can click competitive benchmark and compare your accounts to your top competitors. Honestly, it's great because it goes deeper than vanity metrics like follower count and makes it much easier to tell you who is succeeding and where you should be taking your inspiration from. I know I work here, but this is honestly a tool that has made my job so much easier. And thank you to the product team for making this. Surprise bonus question. Do I want kids? I, I mean, what's the best time to post today? Yeah, I really do try to schedule as much of my content as I can in advance, but there are always a few things that I need to post on the fly. And when that happens, I use the best time to post publish tool to see the best time to publish a post. So for instance, today it's Monday and I have an Instagram post that needs to go out sometime today, I go to the best time to publish tool in analytics, select my social media account, and then I can look at the heat map for the week to see when the best time to post is today. So for Mondays, when it comes to reach, uh, most of our followers are online between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Pacific, but when I click on build awareness, I actually do see that our top performing posts in terms of impressions happen at 3 p.m. on Monday, and as for engagement, um, our best engagement rates on Monday are also at 3 p.m. So 10 a.m. is a close runner up. So I'm gonna go ahead and schedule this post for 3 p.m. today. Hootsuite crunches these numbers based on our account's performance for the past 30 days. So I know this is historically what works best with our audience and I don't need to guess. Although obviously we still experiment a lot. We are scientists after all. I have goggles, it's official. Okay, I've talked for a long time today, friends. But if you wanna try Hootsuite, don't forget your free 60 day trial for you. And make sure you subscribe so that you know when my new video about social media reports and also Akeem's Instagram analytics deep dive are out. Otherwise, leave your daily questions below and if you wanna help me out with mine, please do. Honestly, I can't tell if they're mad at me or mad at the world. Anyways, I'll figure it out. Bye for now, friends. See you next time.